This is Taiping, the largest natural island in the Spratlys, a strategically important archipelago in the South China Sea. Also known as Itu Aba, Taiping is claimed by China, Vietnam and the Philippines, but it's administered by Taiwan, whose capital, Taipei, is 1,800 kilometers away. Now, Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen is facing calls to make a controversial trip to Taiping in a show of the country's sovereignty over the island and to inaugurate its recently expanded port. Tsai's two predecessors also visited far-flung Taiping in a similar expression of sovereignty over the 100-acre island. It is now home to a garrison of some 200 Taiwanese coast guards. But a trip by Tsai, who has only four months left in office, would come at a time of sky-high tensions in the South China Sea. Over the last decade, China has constructed islands in the Spratlys, building docks and airstrips in the disputed waters, and often clashing with neighboring Philippines, which has overlapping claims. Uh, the real controversy uh, that, that makes the news these days about, about the, the Spratly archipelago centers around Beijing's desire to consolidate its claims and to make it more and more difficult for any of the other claimants to operate in that space. But Taiwan has more complex security issues with China, which also claims sovereignty over Taiwan. It has increased military threats to take the island nation by force, sending boats and planes around Taiwan's waters. There are worries that should Beijing actually attack, an outlying island like Taiping could be a target. Which is why Tsai has overseen a 50 million US dollar upgrade to the island's pier to allow larger ships to dock there. 長期的停留在太平島的這個碼頭,甚至是在太平島周圍進行巡弋,這一點其實是對於我們在深山我們所謂的海權或者是永固我們海上交通線來看都有相當重要的一個意涵。Throughout her nearly 8 years in power, Tsai has had to defend Taiwan's sovereignty without provoking Beijing to the point of war. In her last few weeks as the country's president, the decision of whether to go to Taiping Island is a final test in her delicate balancing act. Rick Lowett and Dolphin Chen for Taiwan Plus.